Nine Weird Habits INFJs Have That People Don't Realize INFJs are drawn to things that are personal to them and go much deeper than the surface. They don't like shallow things or things that don't seem to have true meaning to them. Because they do not share common hobbies or interests, this can lead to people thinking of them as odd. The INFJ personality type is well known because it is the rarest of all personality types. Even though the personality type is well known, authentic INFJs may be challenging to identify. Because of their characteristics, they are frequently misidentified as more outgoing people. They spend less time revealing information about themselves in general. Today, we'll look at nine odd habits that INFJs have that most people are unaware of. But before we dive into it, please remember that we make these videos for free for your entertainment and all we ask in return is that you click the like button and subscribe with the notification bell on. They plan for everything in advance, imagining every possible scenario way before time. You have a vivid imagination of being an INFJ. However, if you haven't overcome your anxiety or taken the appropriate steps to establish healthy boundaries with yourself and others, this can be disastrous. In social circles, you are the overthinker that is already aware of issues and topics that others have not considered. You are likely to foresee anything that may occur in the future. You prepare in advance how you will handle potential conflict or overcome obstacles that have yet to arise. While your vivid imagination can be beneficial to you as a creative type, it is also easy for you to become trapped inside your head and lose sight of reality. You may spend an inordinate amount of time wondering about troubles without producing viable solutions. You may easily become entangled and devoured by how others act or understand you. This proclivity to fixate and overthink others can lead to fantasies. Unfortunately, it is impossible to plan for everything. People can be unreliable, and the only thing that remains consistent in life is change. INFJs must recognize that the only point they can strategize for is how to best care for themselves mentally if things do not go as planned. How often do you create scenes in your head? Tell us about it in the comments section. They live in their own heads, not in the material world. INFJs had a running joke about stumbling over their feet or hitting poles while moving because they were too absorbed with a daydream or deep thinking. Unfortunately, this is a far too personal joke. Going inside all the time allows us to be focused visionaries, but it can also cause us to become disconnected from our environment. We recognize the existence of real life. Then there's our bustling rich fantasy life, which we tend to vanish into on a daily basis, resulting in comprehensive encounters, conversations, and events that never happen. Which universe is more genuine? The reality is that an INFJ, they've most likely had several conversations with you. You were simply not present at the time. Have you ever tried to disconnect from the outer world? If so, please explain your reasoning in the comment section below. They read people's emotions and absorb their vitality. INFJs are born with empathy and they absorb the emotions of others. They have an incredible ability to sense what people are feeling and can understand things that have been left unspoken in everyday conversations. They have the ability to see beyond the lines, notice gestural signs, and detect disparities between what you say and how you genuinely feel. Because of their tremendous sensitivity, they are very sympathetic individuals who are excessively kind and mindful of the requirements of others. As a consequence, they are vulnerable to the ones who want to exploit them, such as egotists. INFJs should build a sensor for emotional scam artists and proceed deliberately in relation to avoid these poisonous kinds. They must also center themselves carefully in order to avoid picking up on the sentiments of others. Meditation can help you maintain your energy levels and engage with your inner self. However, because of their sensitivities, INFJs are known as great therapists who are highly aware of what others require on their path to individual development. INFJs use their emotional maturity to flourish in occupations such as educating, advising, and mentoring. They have the capacity to motivate great personal growth as well as social change in others. They are on guard while still having a desire for and pursuit of meaningful connections. 
INFJs seem to be very sensitive people as they end up hurting when they are insulted. As a result, many people learn to be wary of interacting with new individuals or letting others into their hidden world. INFJs can appear chilly and distant at times because they can be silent and reserved in some contexts, especially when deep in contemplation. Rarely any individual approaches enough to an INFJ to learn about their genuine nature. INFJs are cheerful and sensitive, and they are devoted and kind to their loved ones. They regard their relations and connections with a depth and closeness that extends beyond shallower bonds to a core level. As you get to know them more, you will notice that INFJs are extremely touching and affectionate. They are strikingly thoughtful in their capacity to engage towards what makes people joyful as acute learners and witnesses of human behavior. When their hearts are guarded, their tender nature may be hidden. Nonetheless, as they progressively manage to communicate with reliable people, they have an unrivaled capacity to bond with individuals on a deeper level. Do you have the same sensitivity as INFJs? Tell us in the comment section. They shut the door on negative individuals with a ferocity that onlookers are taken aback. While INFJs may struggle at first to establish limitations with toxic ones, they all soon reach their limits. The INFJ type of personality is famed for its iconic door slam, which occurs when the INFJ gets offended by an individual to the point that they no more have the mental capacity to put up with any of their foolishness. Even though the door smash might be employed inappropriately, the INFJ who slams the door often has good reason to do so. Note that this persona is quite cautious, so they've most likely analyzed the benefits and disadvantages and accepted countless offenses before calling it quits. Were they toxic when you slammed a door in their face or were you just angry? They entertain fantasies about strangers. INFJs are passionate people who enjoy imagining possible future scenarios. So, if you're attempting to communicate with someone, they can easily visualize potential future scenarios with that person through a simple act of imagination. While some INFJs have sexual fantasies, their personality type is more concerned with how their parents would react if they met this person, how great their wife would be financially, how great of a parent they would be, and so on. They may even ruminate on who they think someone is before meeting them, only to be disappointed when this person does not live up to the fantasy version the INFJ created in their heads. Ironically, it is this vibrant imagination that makes it difficult for an INFJ to settle down in the first place. They don't always understand themselves. INFJs can have their entire lives figured out when, in reality, they are just as lost as everyone else. However, most INFJs would rightfully argue that they have a deeper understanding of their human experiences, purposes, and the lessons that we're all here to learn. When it comes to playing the role of a successful human on television, they still have their own opinions. INFJs frequently struggle to understand themselves holistically, including their feelings and future goals. Despite asking themselves all of life's introspective questions, INFJs don't always know if where they are in life is where they need to be or if who they're with is who they're supposed to be with. And if they're making the right decisions for the future, which they're not entirely certain about, INFJs know exactly what they don't want. However, understanding what they do want can be extremely difficult. They are very good at concealing their nervousness. Similarly, INFJs can appear fine and dandy on the outside while struggling on the inside. They can also hide their anxiety in social situations, so some people are surprised to learn that the INFJ they know is introverted. Because an INFJ understands human behavior and how to have a proper human encounter, they know exactly what they need to do to appear likable and confident. While they may be overwhelmed and uncomfortable and disinterested on the inside, they can appear to be completely vibrant, happy, and eager to socialize on the outside. Of course, there are some INFJs who are more introverted than others, and everything is dependent on the social situation. That is a skill itself. How well do you conceal your nervousness? They notice two things in everyone. Most INFJs tend to see the best in others. And while this may be difficult in some situations, the INFJ believes that every personality has two sides, yin and yang, hot and cold, highs and lows, whatever you want to call it. 
the introspective INFJ enjoys analyzing the behaviors of others. And over time, it becomes clear that not everyone is as shady or angelic as they appear. This enables INFJs to see the good in others. It enables them to remain silently skeptical of seemingly good people until they truly understand them. They understand that everyone makes mistakes, but also the distinction between a mistake and a behavior. This is why INFJs demand authenticity and genuineness from those they consider to be close to them. They appear to have a variety of personalities. If you've confronted an INFJ with a challenging scenario, don't worry, one of their characteristics will be with you eventually. You'll note that the ordinarily tight-wound INFJ unravels in different situations. The identity of this complicated kind contains many various characteristics, many of which oppose one another. An INFJ who appears scientific and logical may have a major enthusiasm for divine or even otherworldly issues, or see an INFJ who is genuinely serious morph into a mischievous comic who enjoys cracking dirty jokes. Don't be concerned. The INFJ has not had a personality change. These are simply distinct aspects of the same, though versatile, individual. INFJs have quite a rich inner self that they rarely communicate with those around them. Therefore, it is fascinating and enlightening to a certain degree when even a fraction of their inner thoughts are shared with the public. Remember that when an INFJ's wilder side appears, you're just receiving another piece of a highly complex and strange puzzle. They have complicated personalities, which is what tends to make this type so fascinating. That's all for today. Let us know in the comments if you're an INFJ who does strange things. Like this video and share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more Myers-Briggs personality type videos.